This N810 update is crazy. If you build a workflow, it may work perfectly. But what if your client says, where do I use this? I need buttons. I need websites. So now AI tools can look inside your workflow and can build a complete website for you automatically. Look, I just made this trip planner using N810. Now I'll come to Lovable and I'll simply say, build me a UI based on this workflow. Lovable now reads my workflow and figures out what needs to be done. And finally, it builds the whole thing. Forms, buttons, everything. So if if I type I want to go to Mumbai for three days and I'm a food lover on a budget, it gives me the full trip plan day by day with costs and local phrases. It's all done within five minutes. No coding, no developer. So now you can sell complete apps, not just automations. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So yeah, this is real. So N8N's new MCP access will let AI tools to access its workflow. Okay, so you don't have to connect it manually from now on. So I'll be showing you exactly how this works. But before this, you have to understand what MCP is. So now let us understand how MCP works. Okay, so let us consider this example. So let's say this is an Anitin workflow, but it is inside the box. So it is locked from the outside. So any external tool can't view what is going on inside. So MCP gives a window to other AI tools to view what is going on inside. So other AI tools can clearly see which data are coming in, which data are going out, how the workflow is connected. It can see everything. So when you connect a tool like Lovable, which is an AI app builder, you don't have to explain the workflow that you have built. For example, in my case, I have built this workflow. So it will understand everything automatically about the workflow. So we don't have to make it understand. So this is the power of MCP. So this is the workflow that I've built. So it's basically an AI trip planner. So first we have a webhook node. Okay. So we'll get a data using post method. So we'll get all the inputs from Lovable using the post method here. And then I have another node. So it is basically edit fields node. So it will extract all the trip details from the webhook. So if I open this, you can see I can fetch the destination that I want to travel, the days, the interest, the budget. So after this, it will feed all this information to this AI agent. Okay. So this is basically the trip planner agent. So if I open this you can see here i've given a prompt so you are an expert travel planner create a detailed day by day itinerary for a trip okay so it will fetch the destination number of days interest budget as mentioned in the last node and then it has got an instruction that create a complete itinerary with the following json structure okay so this is the prompt that i've given now if i close this now if i click on back to canvas you can see then we have another node so this node will format the information in a proper structure and then it will send all this information back to the webhook url so in our case it is lovable okay so we'll get an input from lovable and then the backend will run here in n8n and then it will send the response back to lovable again so now let us see how to connect this n8n workflow with lovable using mcp okay so for this on the left hand side you'll have to click on your profile section and then click on settings okay so after clicking on settings you'll get this page so on the left hand side you can see mcp access okay you need to click here i'll click here so now this is what we'll see we'll have to activate this and now we'll get a server url okay so we have to copy this url and we have to paste this url in lovable okay so come to google search for lovable and click on the first link so i already got an account so i don't have to sign up again from fresh so in your case you will have to sign up if you don't have an account so now this is the page that we will see now here i'll click on profile section and here i'll click on settings okay so after clicking on settings this is the page that i'll see on the left hand side i can see integration so i'll click on integration and now this is what i'll see so here we can see n810 okay so we just need to click on setup and then we'll click on connect okay so now we need the server url okay so if you remember i have got this server url so i'll just copy this url from here and i'll come here in lovable i'll paste it here okay so now i'll click on add server okay so now it will add automatically we'll see a pop-up here and now we'll have to allow this okay so i'll click on allow and now we can see this is connected successfully okay so now we'll close this and now if you come to n 10 if you reload this page you can see lovable is connected just now so now we have successfully connected the mcp okay so now we'll come back to our workflow so now this is the workflow so now it is very important for us to write a description for this workflow okay so this is very important because with the help of this only lovable will understand what this workflow is about and what action it has to take okay so now in my case i have given this as a description you can see this so i've mentioned ai trip planner that generates personalized day-by-day -day travel itineraries send post with destination 
donation, days, interest, budget, and receive complete trip plans with activities, costs, pro tips, and local phrases. So along with description, it is also important for you to have a proper name of this workflow. Okay. So we have this name AI trip planner. So let me copy this. Okay. So now we'll come to lovable. Okay. So now I'll type here, build me the UI for this workflow. So this is my workflow AI trip planner using N8N MCP access. So now before hitting enter, I'll come here again. Okay. So I'll activate this workflow because without activation, it will not work. And then there is one more thing that we need to do. We'll click in this and then we'll click on settings and now come down below. So we have to toggle this on. Okay. And then I'll click on save. Okay. So now we have activated MCP for this workflow. So now we'll come here. We'll click on enter and then you will see the magic here. Okay. And now you can see here it is thinking. So it has mentioned I'll build a beautiful AI trip planner UI that connects to your N8 and workflows. Let me first check what workflows are available via your N8 and MCP integration. Okay. So now it is checking for this. I'll have to allow. Okay. So I'll allow this. And now it is thinking again. Okay. So it says I found your AI trip planner workflow. So it accepts destination days, interest and budget returning complete itineraries with activities, cost tips and local faces. So now it is designing the front end UI for me. So I'll just have to wait for some time. So I've got this UI now. So it looks amazing. But now for the back end, it is asking me for permission. So if I allow this, then it will fetch the details for my workflow. Okay. So now I'll click on allow. So the front end part is done. Now it is just connecting the back end. So it says that I have the webhook URL. Let me update the code to properly connect to your N8N -N workflow and handle the response format. So now we can see your AI trip planner UI is ready and connected to your N8N -N workflow at this URL. Okay. So now this is done. So now we'll test and see how it goes. Okay. So here, let me type Mumbai. I want to go to Mumbai for let's say three days. It's fine. And my interest is, let's say, food. Okay. And now let's say my budget, my budget is, uh, let's say luxury. Okay. So now I'll click on plan my trip. Okay. So now let us wait. And here, if you come to this workflow, if I click on execution, you'll see this is running. We have to wait for some time. And now we can see after 43 seconds, it is done and we'll come here. So now we can see we have got the complete itinerary what we'll be doing here. Okay. So this is for day one. This is for day two and this is for day three. Okay. And then we also have got pro tips. We have got local phrases like Namaste, Shukriya and all. And we have got packing essential. Okay. So this looks really amazing. So now if we come back to our workflow, so we can see here. So if you click on edit trip details here, we can see this was our input Mumbai three days food and luxury. This was our input. So now if we open this, we can see the output. So this was the destination days budget. And now we have got the full list of itinerary. Okay. So the same thing we have seen here as an output. Okay. So this is really magical. So earlier it was very complicated. Okay. So you can build an automation, but for your client to see it was very confusing for them. But now you can easily build a very professional looking UI and you can send it to your client or maybe for yourself, you can build an app without any headache. You can even connect Lovable with Stripe for payment, Superbase for database and backend and authentication. Okay. So now you can easily build a full SaaS application using an and MCP access. So if you need the JSON file for this workflow or this step-by-step -step guide, you can check it on the link below. Thank you so much for watching.